altar shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. From the beginning, the Israelites were involved in idolatry and sorcery. The Israelites had picked up the ways of the heathen nations they live among. They fell into temptation and followed pagan gods and adopted many pagan practices. Rebellion and disobedience has caused the Israelites cease from being a nation. The Most High often referred to his people as stiff-necked and stubborn. The scriptures inform us that the sin of rebellion is witchcraft. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Our ancestors were heavily involved in witchcraft and idolatry. Witchcraft was one of the many reasons the Most High would exile his people. Once the Most High had enough, he sent our ancestors into captivity. As their descendants, we are in captivity until this day. Altars built to idols were often found among the tribes. The Most High would command his people to destroy the altars and plead with his people to turn from the pagan practices. Whenever the Israelites had a bad leader, they would worship idols. When the Israelites had a righteous leader, they would serve the Most High. But in the 18th year of King Josiah, wherein this Passover was holden, to the Lord in Jerusalem. Moreover, the workers with familiar spirits, and the wizards, and the images, and the idols, and all the abominations that were spied in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem, did Josiah put away, that he might perform the words of the law which were written in the book that Hilkiah the priest found in the house of the Lord. And like unto him was there no king before him that turned to the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul and with all his might, according to all the law of Moses, neither after him arose there any like him. Witchcraft and idolatry is a practice that has tormented the Israelites consistently. The Most High had to repeatedly cleanse his people from the spirit of witchcraft. You can build a righteous altar to the Most High. You can build an evil altar to the kingdom of darkness. Witches and warlocks do not build their altar to the Most High. Their altars are built to the gods they serve. It has already been established that Satan imitates the Most High. The reason Satan imitates the Most High is to deceive the people into worshiping him. Remember, Satan wants to be like the Most High. If Satan can convince you that you are interacting with the Most High, many will follow whatever he presents to them. Many of us are former Christians. Christianity appeared to be praising and serving the Elohim of Israel. However, in disguise, the people are serving an idol called Jesus Christ in the kingdom of darkness. If we truly understood that we were worshiping a pagan god in religion, nobody would have accepted the Christian faith. Satan must imitate the Most High in order to deceive the people. Religion is based on half-truth. A half-truth is a complete lie. The scripture says Satan's imitation will have a form of godliness, but it will deny the power. We must turn away from such thing. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Israelites, witchcraft and idolatry is deep. This subject matter is not something you will learn overnight. You have to do your research and listen to the Holy Spirit in order for you to understand witchcraft and idolatry. The workers of iniquity are being deceived by the kingdom of darkness. The heathens glorify witchcraft in movies, religion, and many other ways. Due to this glorification of sorcery, many people are desensitized to the harm this practice is causing them. Most people believe witches are something cool. They have no idea what they are dealing with. In this society, people are not afraid to say they practice sorcery. The reason many witches and warlocks are getting bold because the people have zero knowledge to how it works. In addition, 
I am sure they can get laws passed to protect them. This is why we have a society that observe pagan days such as Halloween. From October to January is a prominent time the workers of iniquity sacrifice people, establish and renew covenants. The kingdom of darkness keep the masses distracted with the pagan holiday celebrations. Around the pagan season, there are many deaths. That is why it is important that you fast throughout the year, but you must conduct a fast around that season. Witchcraft is one of our biggest oppressors. The kingdom of darkness used sorcery to disable everybody. Sorcery can cause a person to stumble and never make it to destiny. Israelites, your problems are witches and warlocks. The dreams you are having is revealing this information. The witchcraft spirit do not die, but transfer from one generation to the next. Since this spirit is in our bloodline, we have to reject and denounce that spirit. The witches and warlocks persecuting you are very close to you. In addition, they are very pleasant people. Their kindness is the facade they use. This is why it is difficult for you to know who is persecuting you. If you test the spirit of the company you keep, you will find out who is for you and against you. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. As you mature spiritually, when the Most High begins to reveal this information to you in a dream or through a trusted individual, you will understand. Witchcraft spirit can oppress a person in all areas of their life. Witches and warlocks will cast spells to steal everything you have. In addition, destroy your life and kill you. The scripture said the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. The Most High said he came to give you life more abundantly. You should be living well, Israelites, despite being in captivity. The reason many of you are not doing well is due to witchcraft and idolatry. If a person is ignorant to the witchcraft spirit, the witches and warlocks will oppress your finances, your mental health, plague your body with all kinds of diseases, cause people to reject you, bring shame to your name, cause you to never reach your destiny, make you go backwards in life, bring many hardship and delays into your life, they can prevent you from getting married, attack your marriage and your children. The spirit of witchcraft oppressor is serious. You cannot ignore the spirit of witchcraft. You have to be on one accord with the Most High to begin your deliverance. The moment the workers of iniquity know that you are fighting back, they will increase the attack to discourage you. If you are not equipped and in good standing with the Most High, they will place a stronghold on your life. Witches and warlocks are knowledgeable about the spirit realm. That is where they attack you. When they send the spirits after you, the unclean spirits show up in the spirit realm to forge a covenant. This is why you need to understand the spirit realm. We are more spiritual than physical. Israelites, it's no coincidence that we as a people are in the conditions we are in. Our enemies outside of our household use witchcraft to attack us. The sorcery the outside enemies are using is causing the black man and the black woman from becoming one. The outside enemy used sorcery to control our people and to remain in power. There are high level witches and warlocks and there are low level witches and warlocks. There are people who seek the workers of iniquity for personal gain. If you only knew how many of our people seek witches and warlocks in this generation, you would be surprised. They will seek a witch or a warlock to curse a person or to find success. The Most High has harsh judgment reserved for his people who seek after those with a familiar spirit. King Saul, the first Israelite king, rely on the workers of iniquity. He lost the kingship for seeking the workers of iniquity. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. Generational curses are placed in your life when a member of your family seek the workers of iniquity. If they wish to harm a person by using sorcery, the same curse will be placed on that individual and their bloodline. 
This is why you will see in certain family, the curse of pedophilia is running rampant, early death, adultery, and many other generational curses. The Most High said he would transfer the sins of the father to the children to the third and fourth generations. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. If you are not aware that your father is a warlock or your mother is conspiring with a witch for a come up, the evil deed your father, the warlock, and your mother is doing would transfer to their children. What will happen is the spirit that is unleashed into your bloodline will come to seek a covenant with each member of the family. Your father and mother's sins open the door to the kingdom of darkness to oppress you. This is why it is important to repent of the sins of our ancestors and our fathers and mothers. If you're not aware of your family's wickedness, you will be plagued with all sorts of generational curses. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember, and I will remember the land. Despite the kingdom of darkness oppressing you via the witchcraft spirit, the Most High is merciful if you confess the sins of your ancestors in your father and mother's house and turn from the wicked deed, you will be delivered from generational curses. The kingdom of darkness can use the workers of iniquity to oppress you in the physical realm and unclean spirits in the spiritual realm. Israelites, do not be afraid, you will overcome. The Most High always makes a way out for his people who serve him in the spirit and in the truth. In addition, he gave you power over the entire kingdom of darkness. There hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Satan wants you to focus on the witch or warlock attacking you when you are seeking deliverance. Israelites, as long as you can identify the spirit oppressing you, attack the spirit. When you attack the individual, you are operating in the flesh. When you attack the person, the spirit controlling the worker of iniquity will possess someone else and continue to torment you. That is why it is important to get to the root. It will never end well for witches and warlocks. The Most High said he would cut off their powers so they cannot practice sorcery. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots, and I will cut off the cities of thy land, and throw down all thy strongholds, and I will cut off witchcrafts out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. Do not be intimidated by any workers of iniquity. The Most High will set you free from all sorts of spiritual bondage. You have to do your part and seek the Most High. The Most High is with you if you're serving Him in the spirit and in the truth. The spirit of jealousy, envy, and hate travels with the witchcraft spirit. That is how Satan get the witches and warlocks to do diabolical things to the members of their family and outsiders. Many of the dreams you've been having are witchcraft related. Many of you revealed that you had dreams where you were flying. First, I would like to say it is not good to share your witchcraft dreams on a public platform such as this. There are many witches and warlocks watching and are subscribed. You do not want to tell them what is happening with your life. Another reminder, when you fast, do not announce it to the world. Keep your fasting private. I know we are all seeking answers, however, there are some things you must keep private between you and your Elohim. I cannot reveal but so much to you. However, I share enough to entice you so that you would seek our Elohim for more. A good practice when dealing with the spirit of witchcraft is to remain silent. Don't tell any and everyone your dreams. On to flying in a dream. Many of you were surprised to learn flying in a dream is sorcery. I felt the same way. If you've been flying in a dream for a while, your foundation is polluted with sorcery. 
Not only is your foundation revealing witchcraft, but a worker of iniquity initiate you into the practice. The workers of iniquity would sacrifice their children at a young age to idols. Sorcery can start as early as in the womb. Pregnant women are often attacked by unclean spirits and witches in the realm of the spirit. Nobody is exempt. The heathens like to hide truth in plain sight, a practice they stole from the Most High. Television always depict witches flying on a broom. You should ask, why do they portray witches flying? Remember, the Most High speaks to you in symbols in the spirit realm. You have to decode what you see. To support this, the Most High spoke to the prophet Ezekiel about false prophets prophesying to his people. Yah spoke against the women who were prophesying false things to his people via divination. Yah exposed how the workers of iniquity would make the souls of his people fly. Wherefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. The Most High is not causing you to fly. A worker of iniquity is causing you to fly. Flying in a dream is witchcraft. I will share what I know with you. You have to do your research and seek the Most High for guidance. I did not get here overnight. For many years, the workers of iniquity tormented my life until I had enough. I decided to do something about it. Israelites, you have to make that decision. I would not make that decision for you. As I state in all of my dream related videos, in order for you to decode your dreams, you have to use the words of the Most High. In addition, the Holy Spirit. There is no way around that. The Most High is the interpreter of dreams. And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them, I pray you. Israelites, you can better decode your dreams with the Most High versus you seeking someone else to decode it for you. You are the one seeing what is happening in the spirit realm. Everything you see matters in a dream. That is why it is best that you seek the Most High for answers. Besides, you may end up asking a worker of iniquity to decode your dreams. The workers of iniquity love to disguise themselves as angels of light. When you share your dream with the worker of iniquity, they will look into your destiny. If they like what they see, they will oppress your life. Even if they do not like what they see, they will enslave you to their altars. They are wicked. Other witchcraft dreams, being fed in the dream by a person you know or you don't know. When you see yourself breastfeeding in the dream. As I have stated in the past, some things are meant for the physical realm only. Breastfeeding is one of them. The baby you are feeding is a witch stealing your energy. When you have those kinds of dreams, breastfeeding and someone feeding you, you have been doing activities that is building your spirit. Fasting and praying, listening to sound doctrines, reading the words of the Most High, you have been engaging in spiritual warfare battle. When you pray to attack evil altars and seeking deliverance, your prayers have been wounding the witches and warlocks. Remember, the words of the Most High are alive and powerful. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. And Yah's words will cut a spirit and the workers of iniquity. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Israelites, you have more victories than failures. I want you to know that your prayers are being heard if you are righteous. Do not let the kingdom of darkness convince you that your prayers are not doing anything. To stop you from getting stronger and attacking them, the witches and warlocks send witchcraft messengers in the form of a baby to drain you by breastfeeding. The unclean spirits feeding you in the dream is trying to plague your body with infirmities. The kingdom of darkness have prayer blocking spirits. You must pray against them. The workers of iniquity will send marine spirits to sleep with you to drain your energy. All of this to stop you from getting stronger spiritually. Remember I said to you there are high level witches and warlocks. Dreams of you eating. All animals in the dream are witchcraft spirits sent to torment you. You would have to study the animal's characteristics to decode the spirit in the message. The reason the lioness is depicting a high level witch. A lioness is strong and she is the queen of the jungle. Her counterpart is the king of the jungle in the physical realm. 
Israelites do not try to decode your dreams with the natural mind. The physical realm language and the spirit realm language are not the same. Both realms are governed by the laws of the Most High. Just because you see yourself buying a house in the spirit realm, it does not mean you're going to buy a house in the physical realm. A house represents a person's life in the spirit realm. Each room in the house is telling a story in the spirit realm. When you wake up between the hours of 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. after a dream sent by the kingdom of darkness, the Most High wants you to get up and pray. If the Most High always waking you up at night around a certain time and you were dreaming, the Most High is waking you up to pray. A bathroom break is not the only reason. Witches and warlocks love to do their dirt late at night when you are sleeping. You want to be up countering their prayers at that hour to send their evil deeds back to them. Israelites, it is never too late to cancel and denounce old dreams. As long as the Most High allow you to see another day, you can pray against ancestral powers. Dreams you had several years ago, every single evil covenant established in your lifetime, the Most High is giving you the opportunity to be delivered from the evil covenants. That is what you call deliverance. A person can always seek deliverance at any time. Israelites, do not underestimate the kingdom of darkness and do not overestimate the kingdom of darkness. If you wish to be delivered, you have to do the work. Witchcraft has been oppressing our lives, but you can stop it. When you gain the knowledge needed to overpower the witchcraft spirit, you will be set free. Do not be afraid to start your deliverance process. The Most High wants you to know your oppressors by name. What you are seeing in the physical realm is the result of what has taken place in the spirit realm. Attack the spirit. By attacking the spirit, you will disable the kingdom of darkness in your life. So far, the Most High has named the spirit of fear, infirmity, death, and witchcraft. Send the fire of the Most High to those spirits. Denounce every single covenant made with your oppressors. Watch how you will begin to see the manifestation of the Most High's will for your life and freedom from spiritual bondage. Israelites, the Most High is with you. Be strong and have a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee.